Good afternoon, everybody. I'm in Morning with Jesus 2022. Happy Monday, April 25th. Uh, make every effort to live in peace with everyone and to be holy. Without holiness, no one will see the Lord. Hebrews 12, verse 14. My mom, Gloria, was a great woman who valued peace in her home and in her relationship. Relationships, plural. She was known for putting up her hand if a discussion got too heated and saying peace. I like that. Then she'd simply walk away without holding a grudge. As a result of her commitment to keeping the peace, I grew up in a home where I can recall very few arguments. She didn't need to win every argument or prove she was right. As a result, there was an atmosphere of peace and holiness wherever she went. I have a similar desire for peace, though I admit I do like when I'm right. I could care less if I'm right or not. I just want to share what I've learned. I'm not trying to put myself up on a pedestal. I could care less. It's never been about me. It's always been about him. But people just don't want to effectively listen. In the verse above, the author of Hebrews states the importance of pursuing peace. It's not just a suggestion. So my husband and I decided to adopt a technique we've learned in a Christian marriage seminar. Every day we try to tell each other something we appreciate about the other. Well, isn't that nice? Some, it's pretty bad that you have to actually make a point to do that. It just doesn't come naturally. That's sad. Sometimes we exchange comments back and forth until we were both grinning and twinkling and feeling appreciated. It actually becomes contagious as more and more qualities you enjoy in the other person come to mind. This is a surefire and fun way to cultivate peace in any relationship. Well, how about you start with him? The result is that others will see Jesus and your peaceful and holy demeanor. And you will see it in them, too. Pamela Toussaint Howard, that was beautiful. Thank you for that beautiful devotion. Now for the face step. Cultivate a peaceful atmosphere by regularly telling people you're in relationship why you appreciate them. Well, I've been doing that more and more. I mean, I think I always did do that, but I think I'm doing it a lot more today since I've become more at peace with my own life. Um, ever since turning my life over to him, 100%, when I woke up on October 16th of 2019, this journey has not been easy. It has had peaks and valleys. But once I buckled in and enjoyed this ride, which to me is a boat ride, until I get to the smooth sailing, but you're going to still get some rocky seas. He's going to test you. But you have to be willing to listen and be willing, so willing, to surrender. Because you've got to fully surrender in order to enjoy the ride. Just like when you get on a ride at a roller coaster and they strap you in, you've surrendered to that roller coaster ride. Because you feel safe knowing that you're strapped in, they've belted you in, they've put the thing over your head so you don't fall out. So you've totally surrendered in order to get yourself to sit down in that seat and sit back and enjoy the ride. So why not do it with him? The one who made all this for us. He gave us the land. He put the people on it. Why don't you get on the bus and belt yourself in with him and, and belt that truth around your waist and keep shouting it out of your trap. The truth will set you free and just maybe your truth will help someone get closer to him. Crazier things could happen.
Why not? Why not surrender to him? Stay tuned. I've got more coming up. Love to all bunches and bunches. Bye. I'm winking, but you can't see me wink with my glasses on. <laughs> yes, I have glasses on top of glasses because I wore my contacts three days in a row. Never took them out. Whoops. I put eye drops in instead. <laughs> I'm trying to get them <laughs> to last a little longer. What do I got to lose? Nothing. <laughs> See you soon. Bye.